Good morning, and thank you for joining us as we broadcast live from the Truth and Transformation Ministries Spiritual Center here in College Park, Georgia. It's a beautiful day, although we have some liquid sunshine, and so we are rejoicing and being glad in this day. It's always a pleasure, a pleasure to share with you practical tools that will expand our understanding and spiritual consciousness. I'm also pleased to announce on Thursday, April the 23rd, at 9 p.m., I will be interviewed by the journalist Deshaun Farad of Your Black World. He will be interviewing me on Instagram. That's April the 23rd, Thursday at 9 p.m. So please join me for that special broadcast. Our theme this month is spiritual understanding. And spiritual understanding is, is uh, provides you with the insight to comprehend, to analyze, to process all the occurrences in your personal world and a larger environment. In other words, the God of your being is the ultimate source of your understanding. Our spiritual luminary this month is Dr. Frances Cress Wilson, and she is the, the author of the international bestseller, The Isis Papers. Dr. Welsing said, if you understand a thing, you will know how to relate to it. If you understand a thing, you will know how to relate to it. So we have to come back to the notion, to that understanding and that awareness that, that scripture points out to us, which is to be still and know that I am God. See, there's an eternal broadcast that's going on in our being 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. The God of your being is constantly speaking to you. And as you begin to step into that awareness, you step into this understanding that's within your own being. So we're not reaching outside of ourselves to grab for some understanding. We know that the God of our being provides understanding, and it is the ultimate source of our understanding. See, the scripture even tells you, knock, and the door shall be opened. So we have to open the doorway of our minds and be readily available to stand, to stand in the divine understanding that's within our own soul. When things seem confusing, remind yourself, I stand on a firm foundation of divine understanding. I stand on a firm foundation of divine understanding. And true understanding always comes from within. As you move through this crisis known as the corona crisis or coronavirus, you must be firm in your spiritual understanding. Now is the best time to enact your understanding. It's time for you to be firm in your spiritual understanding. See, the scripture tells us as I've been saying weekly, that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Now, what does that really mean? It is saying to us that God is the health of our being, that God is the very essence of your health. And that means that you have to listen to the divine intelligence that's within your being. When you listen to the God of your being, it'll tell you exactly how to strengthen your immune system. Now in February, before the coronavirus reached the United States, my soul told me to go on a 10-day fast and a colon cleanse. We have to be ready to listen and then enact or implement the divine wisdom that's within us. See, the truth is that you possess all of the understanding that you need. You possess all of the understanding that you need. The question is, will you listen and will you use it? Will you listen 
to that still small voice? And will you use the information provided to the still, provided by the still small voice? Number one, standing on divine understanding broadens your spiritual awareness. Standing on divine understanding broadens your spiritual awareness. And that's one of our biggest challenges is that we have to broaden our awareness, broaden our understanding of who and what we are as spiritual beings. Now the scripture says, all things must be spiritually discerned. To discern or to understand anything, you must have the proper tools for processing information and all the occurrences that occur in your personal world. Everything in your personal world and affairs originates in your mind through your thoughts. Everything, everything in your personal world originates in your mind through your thoughts. And your thoughts are connected to the physical circumstances in your life. That's why the scripture says, as you think, so are you. So if you think negative thoughts, you're going to have negative conditions that will follow. If you think negatively, you'll have negative conditions. Now, the biblical character Job, he experienced one negative experience after another because his thoughts were negative. He even said that my worst fears have come upon me. See, you are a powerful spiritual being, just like Job. Although he didn't understand who he was, you are a powerful being just like Job. If you think negative, you're going to have negative circumstances. Whatever you think, good or bad, is what's going to manifest in your world. So we have to begin affirming. We have to begin affirming that whatever I think is what's going to manifest in my world. You've got to direct your good, your mind toward good, and good will manifest. If you just direct your mind toward good, good will manifest. Remember, the scripture says, I have made everything everything. That includes me and you. I have made everything good and very good. The question is, if something is negative, who's making it negative? See, you are the only person that thinks in your mind. You're the only person that thinks in your mind. And your mind, as I've said in many times in the past, your mind is a bank. Your mind is the real bank. It's not Bank of America. It's not Wells Fargo. It's not Chase. What you deposit in the bank of your mind grows. What you deposit there grows. And depositing your human mind into your spiritual mind is the best investment you can make. Depositing your human mind into your spiritual mind is the best investment that you can make. Number two, standing on divine understanding assists you in realizing that you are physical, that you are the physical manifestation of God known as the Son. Now we have formally attributed that only to Jesus, but we are now expanding our understanding of who and what we are as spiritual beings. Standing on the divine understanding assists you in realizing that you are the physical manifestation of God known as the Son. Now when the Bible refers to the Son of God, it is referring to this one sonship or the total sonship which is the entire human family. Now that's, that's new for many of us, but that is nevertheless the thing that's going to broaden our understanding of who and what we are as spiritual beings. The human family manifested from the invisible realm into the visible realm. You are God manifested 
in physical form. You are God manifested in physical form. The scripture says, male and female, he made them. This means that the God of your being contains both masculine and feminine energy. And if you really think about it on a practical level, for you to manifest in this physical form, it took a contribution from your mother and your father in order for you to be active and alive on the earth plane. It took a contribution from a woman and from a man in order for you to manifest on this earth plane. So the masculine and feminine energies, they complement each other. And, and they represent the total oneness of God. That's why Jesus said, I am one with God. If it's true for Jesus, the same thing has to be true for you. Remember, God is not a man in the sky. God is the total energy in the universe, and you are a representation of God, or a representative of God. You are the power of God in action. And one of these, one of the, one of the most important things about these teachings is they're designed to empower you. There is no disempowerment in God. You can only be empowered. So it's time for us to throw away all lack and limitation and step into the infinite beings that we really truly are. Number two, standing on divine understanding allows you to know the difference between truth and falsehood. Truth is the absolute, eternal, changeless principle that governs the inner workings of life. For example, two plus two is always gonna be two, or always gonna be four. Two plus two is always going to be four. See, truth continuously validates itself over and over and over again. So when you're not in, a, in alignment with the truth, hell is gonna erupt in your life. And as I've said last week, hell is just an unnatural, unhappy state of mind. You don't have to go any place to experience hell. Hell is right here when you manifest it. When you think evil thoughts, you're going to have some hell that manifests all around you. So currently, we live in a world. We live in a world right now where people don't value and they don't honor truth. And that's the reason all hell breaks loose in the form of war, murder, poverty, and illness. Ignorance of your true self always results in negative outcome. Ignorance of who you are as a spiritual being always results in negative outcomes. I initiated Truth and Transformation Ministries to liberate people from ignorance and to broaden their understanding of themselves and the world around around them see we've got to we really have to work with this concept of expanded understanding expanded awareness we've got to really work with ourselves in order to develop ourselves spiritually depression despair and anxiety are all different manifestations of fear. And fear is the result of believing that you are separate and apart from God, separate and apart from your true nature, which is your divine self. See, see, the scripture says, a house divided against itself cannot stand. That means that when your mind is divided with truth, and falsehood, good and evil. Confusion is always the result. See, that's what that story about Adam and Eve was all about. Adam and Eve, that's an allegory. That's an allegory for all of us that believe in, in good and evil. See, they concentrated on good and evil when they were only supposed to concentrate on good. See, and that's many of us 
concentrating on God and the devil. See, that's mixed consciousness. If you just concentrate on God, you would have no devil in your life. See, if you just concentrate on God, you'd have no devil in, in your life. And when you really examine this and think about it, see, you have to think evil in order to be evil. You gotta think evil in order to be evil. See, there's only one power and one presence in the universe, and that's God the good. And that good manifests through me and you. As we close, remember and understand God is all the energy in the universe. God is all the energy in the universe. And God works through you and as you. That's very key. That this God presence is in you and it works as you. That's a pretty important job. That you would be in power. You wouldn't call yourself ugly. You wouldn't say that you were dumb. You wouldn't say I can't do this and I can't do that. See, if you know who you are as a spiritual being, you'll know that I can do all things through the God power within me. Through that God power that strengthens me. So in your world, you are the mastermind, you are the God, and beside you there is no other. Even Jesus said, is it not written in your law that ye are gods? It's something to think about. Number two, as we close, remember and understand divine intelligence is flowing through you right here, right now. Even the scripture says, prove me now. It doesn't say prove me in the hereafter. It's saying prove me now. And the scriptures even go further to say, my kingdom shall come on earth as it is in heaven. So that means that some heavenly experiences have got to begin here. Because if they don't start here, you won't know what it's like on the other side. See, you are mind, body, soul, and spirit. The God of your being never stops talking. That that God presence didn't start talking at the beginning of the book of Genesis, and it didn't stop talking at the end of the, of the Bible where it's talking about revelations. That God presence is still talking through me and you. The Bible is still being written through me and you. So we have to begin to understand and broaden our awareness of who and what God is. God is infinite. If God is infinite, therefore I have to be infinite. You have to be infinite. So our job is to listen to that divine guidance within us and apply it. Will you dare to apply it? I double dare you to apply it. Number three as we close. Remember and understand Truth is the guiding principle that ultimately determines your life. Truth is that guiding principle that ultimately determines the outcome of your life. See, align, we have to align ourselves with the Lord. Lord means law. So we have to align ourselves with, divine, with that principle of divine law. We've got to align ourselves with the divine law of our being, which is the orderly working out of the principles of being. See, don't break the law because it's hell to pay. I pray that this message has transformed your soul. I want to share the ways that you can help spread the message and support the ministry by tuning in every Sunday at 11 a.m., spread the word, spread, spread the good news. And also to donate to Truth and Transformation Ministries, you can do that through paypal.me forward slash transform the number seven. Paypal.me forward slash transform the number seven. To donate via cash app, you may do dollar sign transformation 1971. Dollar sign transformation 
1971. Also, to order my book, The Transformative Thoughts, The Soul Sacred Shift, you may co contact the church office. The number is 404-274-4300, 404-274-4300. And also, remember to tune in to my interview on Instagram with the journalist uh, Deshaun Farad of Your Black World. That'll be on Thursday, April the 23rd at 9 p.m. I pray that you have a most productive week. You have been transformed.